Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, it is said that each cord can sustain a maximum tension of 500 Newton. Right, so it is said that determine the largest mass of pipe that can be supported. Right, so we have to find the mass of this pipe so that it can be supported by these uh, five cords. Right, and these five cords can support a maximum load of 500 Newton. Right, so first of all, what we need to do is that we need to identify that particular cord which will carry the maximum load. Right. So, since the system is in equilibrium, right, so first we will analyze this ring A, right. So, to analyze this ring A, we will draw the free body diagram of this ring A, right. So, we will isolate the cords associated with this ring A, right. And similarly, the if, if we represent the forces, right, so then let's say that the force in this cord is, let's say, AE and the tension in this cable in this particular cable will be equal to the weight of the pipe right and similarly the tension in this cable is let's say that we represent that by a b force right so let's say that first we analyze the ring a right so i will write at ring a and let's say that this is our positive x and positive y direction right so if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 right at ring a and if this is our positive direction right so now as we can see that this a b will have one component which will be acting vertically upward right so that is acting in the positive y direction and if this is 60 degree angle so then this is the sine component right so we can write that this is a b sine of 60 degrees right so it is acting in the positive direction so i will write plus this will be a b sine of 60 degrees and the weight is acting in the negative y direction or in the negative direction so i will write minus w and this will be equal to zero and from this equation we can write a b we can write that a b equals to weight divided by sine of 60 degrees or from this we can write that the force in a b card is equal to one point 155 w newtons right so this force is in terms of w right since the w the weight is not known we are required to find the mass of this uh, supported pipe right now if if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero at ring a and if this is our positive direction right so as we can see that this ae is acting in the positive direction so i will write ae and this AB will have one component which will be acting in this direction, right? And this is the cost component, right? So we will write that this is minus, this is acting in the negative direction. So I will write minus AB cos of 60 degrees and this is equal to 0, right? So from this we can write that AE equals to, if we bring this to the other side of equation, right? So AE equals to AB cos of 60 degree and we can write this AB in terms of W. So I can write that this will be 1.155 W cos of 60 degrees and from this we can write that AE equals to 0.577 W Newtons right so this AE is also in terms of W right now uh, after this we will analyze the cords at ring b right so we have to draw the free body diagram of that particular ring b right so let me draw that uh, free body diagram right so we have to isolate this we have to isolate this cord as well and we have to isolate this one right so now uh, we can say that let's say that this is the force in this cord is let's say this is bd the force in the tension in this card is let's say bc and the tension in this card is ab which is known right so ab is we can write that this is 1.155 w right and if i draw a horizontal line here so if if this angle is 60 degrees so then this angle is also 60 degrees right so now again if i write that at a ring b 
right so now if if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero again if we write that the summation of forces along y equals to zero and if this is our positive direction so this bd will have one component which will be acting vertically upward right and let's say that this bd is making angle theta here right and this ab will have one component which will be acting downward right so this is the uh, sine component of bd if we consider this theta right so we will write that this is plus bd sine of theta minus this component right so if this is 60 degrees so then this is the sine component of this uh, ab right so i will write minus 1.155 w sine of 60 degrees and this will be equal to 0 and since we are given this triangle right we are given this triangle so this base is 4 3 and 5 so we, from this triangle we can find sine of theta right so sine of theta is we can write that sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse right so we can write the sine of theta is 3 divided by 5 right so i can replace the sine of theta by that ratio that is 3 divided by 5 right so i will write 3 divided by 5 so from this we can write that bd equals to 1.155 w sine of 60 degrees divided by 3 divided by 5 so when we solve this so bd also comes in terms of w so bd equals to 1.667 w and this is in newtons right now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero at ring b and if this is our positive direction so then this bd will have one component which will be acting in this direction and similarly uh, this ab will have one component which will be acting in this direction as well right so we can write that this is the cos component of bd which is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus bd cos of theta right and this green one is the component of this ab right so this is the cos component of this ab so we can write that this is plus and ab is 1.155 w cos of 60 degrees and this bc is acting in the negative direction so i will write minus bc and this will be equal to 0 and again from this triangle we can write that cos of theta is equal to 4 divided by 5 right so we can replace this cos of theta by 4 divided by 5 ratio right so from this if we, if we bring this bc to the other side of equation so bc will be equal to the summation of both of these components right so when we solve this so bc and similarly this bd is also known right so we can write that this bd is one point so let me write that this bd is 1.667 w right so so bc will be equal to if we take w common from this and add up the all the constants right so then we will be left with 1.911 w right newtons right so now if we uh, observe all these equations right this ab is 1.155 w so w is uh, constant right in all the cases right so as we can see that this bc is multiplied with 1.911 right and 1.911 is greater than all all these uh, factors right so this is 1.667 this is 0 0.577 this is 1.155 right so this means that bc is under the larger tension right so this means that bc supports the maximum tension right so this means that we can equate bc equals to 500 newtons so if we write that bc is 500 newtons so then we can write that 1.911 w which is bc this can be equal to this is equal to 500 newton since it supports the maximum tension right so we can write that w is and we can replace this w by mg right so i can write that 1.911 mg and g is 9.81 equals to 500 
So from this mass equals to 500 divided by 1.911 into 9.81. So from this mass of the pipe that can be supported is equal to 26.67 kgs. Right, so it, it this is the largest mass that can be supported by these by this uh, whole system, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.